Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In this session, we are going to discuss about line chart with different set of styles. So guys, line chart are a good way to so change or trends over the time. And it is also the preferred mode of representing trends or variable over a period of time. And people are familiar with simple line chart. So guys, the benefit of line chart is very simple presentation, easy to read and create clean presentation of multiple data series with many data points. And one more thing, line chart are ideal for showing trends over the time. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about line chart in greater details. Okay, so let's go to the Jupyter notebook. So guys, first of all, let's say you have to import these required packages to work on line chart using the pandas, numpy and matplotlib. So guys, let's say x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and y equal to 100 and 200 and 150 and 300 and 250. So guys, one more thing to watch this session, I will recommend to watch the previous session as well. In the previous session, we have seen the column chart and bar chart with different set of styles and layouts in greater details. All right. So guys, right now I am going to create a basic line chart. Okay. So simple plt dot plot. If you are writing plot, it means you are going to create a line chart. Now simple again, you can supply the title as we have seen in the last session. So basic line chart guys and plt dot y x label. All right. So let's say this is the month and plt dot y label and for an example sales and plt dot show. Okay, so it is very easy to do that. And guys, in the last session, I told you, let's say what kind of style we have. So these are the styles. Apart from these style, you can use one more style as well. So that style name is plt dot xkcd. Okay. Now let me, you know, paste this. So look at this, just like a handwritten line chart. All right. In case guys, can you see here? So this is the month one, two, three, four, and this is fluctuating my data based on my sales. So here, if I want the connector, okay, or maybe, you know, some marker. So what can I do here? So simple, I have to copy this code and here I can use X comma Y and I want marker in the form of O shape. So look at this. Okay. So these are the connectors in case you want to change with asterisk. So you can go with asterisk as well in case you want in a greater than or less than sign. So you can use it. So now I am going to change line chart. Okay. Uh, with markers. Look at this. All right. Now, similarly, in case you want to supply the two line chart. Okay. Now, guys, what I'm doing here, create a line chart with different line style. All right. So what can I do here? Let's say plt dot plot x axis, y axis. And here I am taking the O shape, let's say as a marker and the color I want red. And guys, the line width, line width, I want, let's say two. And I want to supply the label, right? So let's say line one, whatever, line one. Apart from this, one more line I am also going to create X. And I don't have Y, so I am going to change my Y, let's say with some, you know, the random numbers. So for an example, 250 and 200, and let's say 150, right? So you can change accordingly. And I want the line style, you know, like this and the color of this, this, that line guys, I want blue and I want to change the line width equal to four and here the label, uh, equal to guys, I want line number as two. Okay. And in case if I want to supply the title, so what can I do here? Line chart with different line style. Okay whatever, right? And here plt dot x label. So let's say month and here plt dot y label. I want sales 
I want legend also. So guys, this is legend and plt dot show. So look at this. Okay. So that's how you can create a the line chart with the combination of two lines. All right, guys. So this is very easy to do that. In case you want to the you know grid line, so simple. You can use here plt dot grid, and here you can use the parameters true. So after the legend, I want grid line plt dot grid include true. All right. So guys, right now the grid line is not showing because it is not the part of this style which we have used XKCD. All right. So let me ignore this. And guys, uh, let's say if I want to create the line chart based on the data. Okay. So let me show you this data set. Okay, so in this data set, I have, you know, guys, you know, category and sales, right? I have month wise sales and reason wise sales. And I have this data, units sold and total transaction. And I have this particular sales. Okay, so I have some basic data set. Okay, so based, based on this data set, guys, I want to create the chart. So let me take a path of this particular file. Let's say this one. And here, what I'm doing. So D. F not df or I can use guys let's say sales equal to pd dot read excel okay and I am taking a variable let's say pth so this is the path guys I am taking all right and this particular path I am going to supply here and I am taking the sheet name let's say sales guys so now sales dot head so this is the sales I have okay so I have generated the data month wise sales and profit. Now I want to create the chart. So guys here the sales, right? I want to represent as a column chart and the profit. I want to represent as a line chart. Okay. With the combination of column and line chart. I want to, you know, prepare. So what can I do here? Let's say I am taking uh, simple. I can use here the fig and axis. Okay. So equal to plt dot subplots. Got it. And here the fig size equal to let's say 10 by 3. Okay. So you can customize in case you want. So axis dot bar chart. And guys, I am taking here the sales and you know months. Similarly, I want the sales column. Simple. And guys, I want to supply the color equal to let's say dark blue. And you know what will be the label of this particular chart is a sales. Similarly, I want to plot the line chart. So simple sales, I want month and the sales, I want to show the profit. And again, you can supply the color, right? So let's say color equal to, you know, red color I want to supply. Okay. And label equal to profit. Make sense? And now again, axis, which is a set X label. And here, guys, this is the month. And X is dot set Y label. Amount in, in USD. Got it? And then X dot legend, if you want to supply, let's say lock equal to, you know, I want to upper left, whatever, right? And PLT dot show. Now let me run this. So guys, look at this. Okay. So let me change the fig size. For an example, I want, you know, 12 and 4. Okay. So now it is good to read. All right. So that's how you can create the chart. Okay. So this is very easy to create. I hope you understood this chart. Now let me show you the sales as a column chart and quantity and profit as a line chart to see the difference. What I'm saying? Sales should be a column chart and quantity and profit. I want to show as a line chart. So I am taking a sales as a random number. Okay. Any random information you can take. So here again, the same thing I am doing here, which I did earlier. And here axis dot bar graph guys. So NP dot arrange. Some people call a range the length of sales. You know sales guys and i want to align into center center and here i'm going to plot the line chart for quantity okay so what can i do axis dot plot 
np dot a range and here length of quantity and simple quantity and color equal to red and line style equal to guys dashed and again now plot the line chart for profit so again the same line let me copy this and here guys i want profit and the color should be let's say it should be changed orange and dotted dotted line i want and now adding labels and annotations so what can i do here let me copy this paste here set x label month and guys one more thing i want to you know set x ticks np dot a range length of sale it should be np and here one more thing guys and here guys legend i am going to supply and i'm going to change the name of the legend let's say i'm going to supply for an example quantity and profit all right guys now plt dot show okay so look at this and now let me do one thing here plt dot style dot use here guys uh, one more thing so let me import uh, another library to remove this warning so import warning warnings dot filter warnings and i want to ignore this and guys i am doing one more thing adding a data labels okay again same thing so in enumerators and i am using here the sales and text and guys same thing and horizontal alignment is a center and vertical alignment equal to bottom like this okay in case you want to change the fig size so you can do the fig size with let's say 10 by 4. so guys uh here we are doing some mistakes so this has to be on x-axis right so now let me run this okay now it is perfect okay so again it is a very easy so i have created the sales quantity and profit and i am using this style from the matplotlib and this is the you know figure size and axis and on the axis let's say using the axis i am going to create the bar chart and then i am going to create a plot chart based on quantity and profit and this labels for x axis and this is the y axis and this is the x ticks okay these are the sales all right and here i am going to you know supply you know some data labels so this is very easy to do that and guys sometimes let's say people are saying can you create a target versus sales so how you can plot target versus sale let's say you are going to set the target for an example 1000 and against this target you are doing some sales all right so like this after that let's say you want to show show this particular sale so what i'm doing here this is my target okay so entire list i am taking multiply by whatever the length of sales okay so 1000 i am repeating multiple times now label equal to let's say target and here plt dot plot so let's say sales and label equal to you want to show this label plt dot legend we want to show plt dot x label let's say month right and uh, plt dot y label equal to and here plt dot title i want to supply let's say uh, target versus sales okay and that chart i want to show this is my particular target and against this target i am achieving this sales okay so that's how you can do that let me give you a couple of more examples on live data so what i'm doing here so i am i am reading the data from again from that excel so from the path and the, here the sheet name i am using line number one all right so this is lc1.had now i want to show you the chart you know 
sales by category i want to show okay so sales by category means again i am taking a fig and axis equal to plt dot subplots and here i am going to assign the fig size so let's say 10 by 4 and here axis dot plot lc1 and let's say guys i am taking a category on the y axis uh, lc1 let's say i am taking a sales and now guys i am going to set the chart title and axis label so what can i do here directly i am using here plt dot show so look at this all right so guys now you can see here these categories right it is not in readable mode so what can i do so this is the part of x axis so what can i do here plt dot x ticks and i am going to use the rotation rotation equal to let's say 45 degree or 90 degree you can use whatever right now now you everybody can read these you know uh category and these are the sales all right and now for an example if you want to you know sup supply you know some colors and some style so you can use this particular part easily so i am telling you let's say i want you know color equal to blue and the marker i want let's say o and you want to supply the marker size as well right marker size equal to six and label equal to sales right so and here i want legend as well so access equal to legend and simple i can show you okay so that's how you can do that let's say i want dark blue look at this so now everybody can read this got it and now guys i want to create a multiple line chart okay so what i'm doing here creating multiple line chart so what can i do here let's say lc2 equal to again i am reading the data from the excel and from the path and the sheet name equal to let's say lc2 so now lc2 dot head okay i think is the case sensitive so look at this so right now i have a month and i have a reason why sales okay so i want to you know see the difference based on my reason so what can i do here i am going to create a same thing so plt dot subplots and here fig size equal to let's say guys you know 12 by 4 whatever right and axis dot plot so look at this what i am doing here uh lc2 and i am taking a month and lc2 again i am taking east and the line width guys i am taking two and the color equal to red and the marker which is o you want to supply the marker size right marker size equal to six and the label equal to let's say east right and similarly what can i do and let me paste this so this is for west this is for south and this is also west and south let me change the color as well let's say green and blue and guys you can supply the you know the hexadecimal color as well okay which i shown you in the last session and now i am going to set the title so access dot set title and here monthly sales by reason and now axis dot set x label on uh, the x axis i'm going to show you the month and axis dot set y label i'm going to show you the sales and again i have to rotate my x ticks sorry and the rotation equal to 45 degree and axis dot legend for an example lock equal to let's say lower left you want to change the size right font size equal to 10 and plt dot show all right so let me do here the 10 so guys using this multiple line of chart we can see the difference based on east west and south against the month okay so it is very easy 
to understand this particular part. All right. And guys, in the last, I am going to show you how you can create the chart and other different data set. So look at this. So again, LC3 equal to PD dot read Excel. Again, I am reading my data from the sheet name equal to LC3. So LC3 is not hash. So now let me show you this one. Okay. So see what I want. For an example, let's say I have created this line chart. I want the data label as well on this chart. So what can I do here? Let me do head of two records only. So guys, month. And for an example, unit sold. Let's say LC3 and unit sold. And total transaction, total equal to LC3, total transaction. All right. I'm using here again that use, let's say, C bond. And here, now I'm going to create the chart. Dark blue. I'm going to change the style in this chart and ticks params and axis equal to y and the label color equal to dark blue all right again this transaction again this transaction i want to show this unit sold as a line chart okay so i am going to change the axis so how can i change the axis so guys what i am doing here change axis okay so second set of y axis with uh, new axis i am going to do here axis 1 equal to x is dot twin x okay so what do you mean by this let me tell you axis 1 dot plot month unit sold color equal to red line width equal to 4 label equal to Let's say, guys, units sold. Units sold. And axis one dot set y label. And here again, unit sold. You can supply any color, the same color, red color I want. And axis one dot tick. And params. And here is X is equal to Y and label color equal to again, say red. Data labels. So for I and V in enumerator and I want unit sold. And here text color equal to red. And so guys, if you will create these kind of chart multiple times, right? So what will happen? You can easily remember these parameters for the long time. It is completely depend upon how you are doing the practice. Okay, so font size, you can give small, you can give medium, you can give large, you can give extra large, or you can give X, you know, large as well. And here X is dot legend. Let's say upper left. Axis one, not here one, lessent lock equal to upper right. Now plt dot show. Let me run this. Okay. Okay. So let me check the style, guys, again. So simple print plt dot style dot available. plt dot style dot use. Sorry. Not user is a use. PLT dot show why it is not working. Let me print the month as well and unit sold and print total transaction. Okay, so now let me run this. So, guys, uh, we are why we are not getting anything x and x is y. Okay, so we, we haven't created uh, the figure in axis, okay? 
So now let me create here figure and axis objects. Okay. So how we can create so simple uh, fig fig and axis equal to plt dot subplots and here fig size equal to twenty by seven. Okay. Now let me run this. So guys, you can see here. So look at this. Here we are getting the total transaction, and here we are getting the unit sold. Okay. So axis legend, right? So this is for the column chart, and I am going to represent is the upper left. Axis one is the line chart, and I am going to represent as a upper right. Okay, so guys, here I don't want the data labels on the columns. I want the data labels on the line chart. So that's why I have applied a loop on unit sold. In case you want to add the data labels on total transaction, so similarly you can apply a, another loop for the same. Okay, and one more thing on the the ticks params, right? So I want to you know. Change the data labels or you know or the colors, the red on y-axis. So I have supply you know this color. Similarly, I want to change my color on you know as a dark blue. So I have supply the dark blue as well. Okay. So this particular part, guys, you have to keep in mind. All right. So guys, again, a line chart is a chart, right? That uses one of several lines to show patterns in the data. In case you want to show the patterns, right? Let's say how your sale is fluctuating, how your team performance is going on. In this scenario, you can use the line chart. Okay, so I hope you have learned a lot of things about the line chart in greater details. I have used several styles and plots with different different mechanism with different different data set. Okay, guys. So please practice of this session. And in case you are finding some difficulties, then please let me know in the comment. And I will give you the link of this particular Jupyter notebook, and you can download and you can play with this around this particular stuff, whatever I have done it. All right, guys. But again, I am repeating myself. Do the practice as much as you can. All right. Now, guys, I will meet you in the next session with uh, some different set of agenda. Meanwhile, do the practice of this session as much as you can, and have a great day.